in today's video, I'll be guiding you through installing BlissOS on a USB drive. This setup allows you to use BlissOS on any computer just by plugging in your USB drive. I'll take you through each step with detailed explanations. So let's dive right in. To get started, you need two USB drives. I'm using a 32GB and a 64GB USB drive. We'll use the 32GB USB drive to create the BlissOS bootable installer and we'll install BlissOS on the 64GB USB drive to use as a portable OS. Open a web browser and navigate to blissos.org. This is the official website for BlissOS. On the website's main page, click the download button. You'll see different versions of BlissOS. I recommend choosing BlissOS 15 with GApps or Google Apps. This is the latest stable version. BlissOS 16 is in beta, but for reliability, let's go with the stable version. The download may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Next, we need Rufus. Open a new tab and search for Rufus. Scroll down on the download section and select the portable version of Rufus. This option means you don't need to install Rufus on your computer. It runs directly from the download file. Once you have both the ISO and Rufus downloaded, you are ready to start creating the bootable USB. Open Rufus by double-clicking the download file. Now I'll insert the 32GB USB drive and make sure it's selected in the device section of Rufus. Next, click on select and choose the BlissOS ISO file we downloaded earlier. Leave other settings at their defaults. Once everything is set, click start. Rufus will now begin writing BlissOS to the USB, which might take a few minutes. Once Rufus finishes, our 32GB USB drive is ready as a bootable BlissOS installer. Now, we'll use it to install BlissOS onto the 64GB USB drive. Restart your computer and enter the boot menu. Boot your computer from the USB drive. In the BlissOS installer menu, select BlissOS installation and press enter. Now, we'll need to create two partitions on the 64GB USB drive, an EFI system partition for boot purposes and a Linux partition for the BlissOS installation. So, choose create or modify partitions and select the 64GB USB drive. In the Partition Manager, select Resize. Then create a 1GB primary partition. Set its type as EFI. This will be used as the boot partition. Now, with the remaining space, create a new partition and set its type as Linux file system. We'll install BlissOS in this partition. After creating both partitions, write the partition table. Now, quit the Partition Manager. With the partition set up, we are now ready to install BlissOS onto the 64GB USB drive. First, select the EFI partition. This is usually labeled as SDB1. Format it as FAT32. Next, select the Linux partition, labeled as SDB2, and format it as EXT4. Name this partition BlissOS for easy identification in the boot menu. Enable OT updates to allow BlissOS to update automatically in the future. For the bootloader, select GROP2. The installation will now proceed. It may take some time to complete. Once it's done, 
you will see a message confirming that Bliss OS has been successfully installed. You can now remove the 32GB USB drive and then reboot the system to test the installation. Enter the boot menu again. Here, select the Bliss OS USB. You will see different boot options for Bliss OS. For most systems, the first option should work fine. Now you can see the Bliss OS is loading with the animated logo. Finally, select your preferred home screen app layout. Just select one and grant the permissions. Now, from the notification panel, finish setting up your Bliss OS device. Bliss OS is now fully installed on your USB drive. You can explore the OS and customize it to your liking. You can use the Play Store to install your favorite apps and games. It's easy to switch back to Windows. Simply shut down your system, then unplug the USB drive to boot directly into Windows. And that's it, you have successfully installed Bliss OS onto a USB drive. This portable installation allows you to experience Bliss OS on any computer. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tutorials and hit the notification bell so you never miss any update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.